Hello there folks, these are the hands of me Dan Ryan from Sort of Interesting and if I duck into shot very quickly here, I just thought I'd give you a quick introduction. Um, as you may see behind me, I've got an awful lot of notebooks, uh, 74 in total to be exact, amazingly. And well, I've done one of these collection uh, quick look videos recently, but there's been an awful lot of books added to the collection since then. So I thought we've now reached the sort of the theoretical limits of how many notebooks I can possibly hold. So I thought we'll have a look at the collection at what I believe is going to be its peak. And well, I'll move back out of shot and let's dive right in. So, like I say, we've got 74 notebooks on the shelves, the larger ones on the top, and then moving down to a few extra smaller ones here. And, well, I'd say, amazingly, the retail price of all this, including a couple of the pens, is probably somewhere between £700 and £750, which is absolutely ludicrous. Um, and obviously I haven't paid anywhere near that, I just want to point out, otherwise I would be effectively bankrupt, but still, ironically, have an awful lot of paper. Um, so then, I suppose, instead of starting at the top, we'll see I'll start at the bottom for a change. And, well, first of all, something that's key to my notebooks and what I use these days is this lovely little Midori. This is the Traveller's Star Edition uh, passport size. And basically, you have just a series of uh, notebooks that you can hold in a leather cover with a series of elastic uh, bands that go through the general centre of the leather case and it's all built into it. And that, I just absolutely love it. And uh, if you're not familiar with Midori, then have a look around, check out my videos there, you'll see a general proper up-close video of this. And you'll be amazed at the sort of cult of Midori and general community built up around these. It's very similar to the Filofax community, I suppose. And... I've learnt a fantastic fact, which if you've seen my other videos you may well be familiar with, that all these other notebooks here, the uh, Field Notes and the, uh, I believe, Kaye Moleskin notebooks are slightly bigger than the passport size, but you can fit them in if you don't mind them sticking out a little bit. But there's a company called Scout Books, which is what we're going to have a quick look at here first, who do almost identical sized Midori uh, notebooks to the Midoris. And if I say that these are Midori notebooks here, if we put these to one side, I think this is going to be a lot less tidy when I finish this video. Um, and then comparing that next to one of the Scout books, you can see they are almost exactly the same size, just the Scout books very slightly taller there. So that obviously instantly gives you a lot of options. And Scout books, the reason I'm such a fan of them is because as everything starts to fall apart, this is what a standard sort of a, I don't know, off-the-shelf scout book would look like. And you've got various um, information fields on the back there. But they're pretty much what you'd expect from a pocket notebook and general nice paper, all the rest of it. But what they've got, which is their key advantage here, is I'm dipping in and out of the picture here, sorry about that, but they've got an awful lot of uh, custom covers and these are all designed by various artists. But like I've said in other videos, they seem to have a sort of a general similar theme that somehow marks them out as scout books rather than any other um, company. And like I say, I mean, these, there's a floral collection here, or flora collection, the astronomy one or cosmos set, I really am a big fan of, and that's what I'm writing in in the Midori at the minute. And I don't know, I just really love these covers. They're just absolutely fantastic and just really nicely done because they're just that little bit different to what I've seen previously in other notebooks such as the Moleskins, that even the uh, limited editions, some of them like the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit uh, Moleskins, I really do absolutely love. But in general, they're a little bit more plain than the Scout books, as are the Field Notebooks. But, well, we'll get to those in a second, because I've got my absolute favourite Field Notebook ever. Um, something else, this I really love. This is from a company called Noodle, and basically it's just as... Uh, well, as far as the eye can see, just a simple squared notebook there, but all of these are bookmarks, and uh, I mean, how adorable and cute are they? <laughs> we've got an ice cream, we've got a donut, and then on the front, of course, we have got uh, a lovely rainbow, which I was surprised was a circle when I first uh, took it out. And those, I just, I like to give them a shout out because I think that noodle things are absolutely adorable and just fantastic. These are the perfect gifts, I suppose. Um, so, moving swiftly on once more, if we start piling these up. 
I suppose uh, something as well that's similar to the Midori in many ways is the Flex by Filofax system. And if you're not familiar with Flex, then basically you have a leather cutter and there's various different styles and types you can get. And as you're familiar with Filofax, they release new ones every year. And, well, you then have a series of various notebooks, inserts, and, I mean, I've got a diary here, I've got a line notebook, I've got a flip book, and these can all fit in in different ways into this. So you've got, you could have the flip book there and a diary there, or obviously flip it out so you'd have a diary there and a notebook there, and basically it all folds up and keeps it nice and together, and even something like the pen holder itself can be removed and given a general, uh, well, taken out completely if you want, or put in a separate side, and well, as I say, it's just another sort of customization of uh, whatever you want, notebooks, diaries, and all that sort of thing, but at the same time, it's in a nice cover that will keep it all together. So that's Flex by Filofax. Of course, we've got uh, some of the little Volant notebooks from Moleskin. Can't have a collection of notebooks and not have two of these in it. And these really, as well, as you can see, I don't want to expose too much because I'm not sure what's in any of these notebooks that I've been using. Um, but these are really what I was using as general shopping list books. And every single page is perforated in these, which really makes them perfect for that, um, that general purpose of list making and things that you want for quick reference. Because you can tear them out nice and cleanly. Uh, moving up, this was my first sort of lovely notebook that I really had and cherished. This is... The classic, this is really the iconic moleskin, just moleskin, pocket notebook, soft cover, and well, I mean, this is a good few years uh, old now, and well, I really did love this, and filled it in, and well, as you can see, I've got an awful lot written in here, actually. It seems to be always a lot more than I expect, um, and like I say, that once again, just a classic sort of iconic notebook, and similarly, in relatively similar size, but obviously incredibly thin in comparison. These are the Kaye notebooks, which you'll have probably seen for sale in sets of three. And once again, these are general notebooks. Uh, the front pages, these are obviously the blank ones. Front pages are all just standard notebook pages, whereas the back pages have got uh, perforation, so you can easily tear those out. And also, the back cover does have a uh, folded over half pocket there. So, once again, we're rattling through these. I'll just try and put some more of these up back into a shot. <laughs> oh dear me, forget it. They're never going to be in order ever again, I can tell. Uh, a couple of other items of note on the bottom shelf before we rise ourselves up there. We've got a couple of pens. I've got my Cross Century Classic that I'm a huge fan of and the Parker IM that's replaced my Parker Frontier pen. But this um, standard ballpoint pen from cross a uh, black and 23 karat gold edition and I just I don't know I just absolutely love it sort of super minimalist somehow and the fact that it's thinner and just generally sleeker than most pens I've ever owned obviously you've got things like uh, Palomino pencils here you've got field notes pencils you've got, of course the classic field notes bando rubber um, and oh of course you can't have any collection without field notes pens in but Here's my super, this is my ace in the hole when it comes to over the top brilliant stationery. Just on the little black bag here, we have got my wax seal. We've got a piece of wax there that you burn and melt onto the page. And then obviously being a wax seal, we've got this, which if I hold that up there, you'll see that's obviously in reverse because well, when it goes down to stamp, it obviously then on the paper is the right way. But I really love this, and just as a, a general flourish to any sort of over-the-top writing that I might be doing, well, a wax seal really is absolutely perfect. So that is, oh yes, just to explain, that's my initials DMB there. Um, so that's something that I really do absolutely love. I suppose now it's time to move up onto that top shelf. How are we doing for time? With nine and a half minutes into this video already. Please forgive me. Um, I suppose, ultimately... It's got to be another quick look at some of the smaller notebooks and then I might split this into a two-part video and look at the larger ones in a separate one. So let's dive in and I shall cut across the camera here, my apologies. And what we've got here is, once again, I suppose following on from the wax seal, we've got 
some lovely Basildon Bond here. And, well, this is the iconic writing paper that was always around when I was a kid and the sort of writing your Christmas letters on. And these, I'm not sure, oh my goodness me, as I drop everything everywhere. These are all watermarked pages. I don't think I've got anything that I can use to show you the watermark at this time. I haven't got a torch to hand, unfortunately. But those are all watermarked. And similarly, so are... Wow my um, series of envelopes that obviously match the paper size and once again these are also all watermarked so just have a quick look it is pretty much what you would imagine and a uh, ready uh, I don't know, self adhesive whatever the term is there and well once again Basil and Bond uh, check out my other videos because soon I will do a nice little write in the letter video with the wax seal and all <laughs> and finishing off our look at the small notebooks We've obviously got to have a look at the Field Notes collection. Now, Field Notes are one of the super iconic brands of notebooks. I suppose they're probably up there, or certainly approaching the level of Filofax and Moleskin. And, well, I don't know, there's something, just the simplicity and the minimalism that it really does appeal to me, and I can see why they're so popular. And these are, I believe, the same size as the Moleskin Cahiers. Which always seems to, I don't know, the these might be very slightly wider, but I always seem to feel that they should be a lot wider than the Field Notes books. But what we're here to talk about is Field Notes at this moment. Moleskin will have their moment again soon enough, don't worry. And, well, like I say, you've got a pretty simple, straightforward, minimalist design. And obviously, then opening up, we've got a few different types of paper in these, plain, squared, and... Of course, lined, or well, somewhere there's lined. <laughs> and those are wonderful and all that sort of stuff, and just what you would expect from a company established now, such as Field Notes. But these Expedition Edition notebooks are the real ones, made with Upo synthetic paper. And as I say, don't ask me what that means. But when I show you, um, I've done a proper stress test video of these, so please feel free to check that out. But if I show you just how strong this paper is, obviously it's also waterproof, but that's literally all of my might, as you can see me straining there. And at best, you can crinkle and maybe slightly stretch the pages. Those, definitely check out my other video of these, because they are just absolutely fantastic. Right, thank you very much for watching. Stay around for part two if you want in the second video. If not, then thank you very much for watching. Check out all my other videos for closer looks at everything that you've seen so far. Make sure you like the Facebook page, subscribe to the YouTube videos for more like this, and well, really, just generally have a great day, but if you're sticking around, well, I'll see you in a second.